So I've used both Elementor and Shopify to build online businesses before. And while at first the two appear to be similar, they actually have very different functionalities. Basically, Elementor is best suited for small, local and service based businesses because it's a plugin for building and designing websites. Shopify, on the other hand, is an e-commerce platform for creating and managing online stores, which is why it's a great option for dropshipping businesses, online retailers and other niche stores. But to really answer the question of which one is best for your business, I'll go over the features of both and then compare the two so that by the time I'm finished, you'll know exactly which one is right for you. And having extensively used Elementor and Shopify, I've also found some downsides to be aware of before choosing which one to go with. Now let's begin with an overview of Elementor. And Elementor is a plugin basically for WordPress and it has a lot of flexibility when it comes to designing websites. And by the way, if you're not familiar with WordPress, it's basically basically an engine for building websites where approximately 45% of all websites on the internet are created using WordPress. Now, when I started my first online business, it was a blog, which then I monetized through affiliate marketing. So when researching options for a website builder, I knew I wanted something that would allow me to customize the website as much as possible to fit my niche and brand. And I was also looking for an option that's easy enough to use so that I could launch as soon as possible. It was actually a friend of mine that recommended Elementor to me because at that point I was already using WordPress for something else. And for those of you that aren't familiar with WordPress, it's pretty easy to learn, especially because there are so many tutorials out there. So I installed Elementor and got right into it. The first thing I did was create the basic pages for my page. And once that was finished, I used Elementor's drag and drop editor to move things around and adjust the layout and design to my liking. And because the interface is so easy to use, I had no problem finding everything I needed. And something else that I actually found to be very convenient was the real time editing feature because it allowed me to edit directly without having to constantly switch between editing and preview modes. So that made it very easy for me to try out many options and then choose the ones that look the best. And I was also able to add some motion effects and animations to some widgets, which made my blog so much more visually engaging. And once everything was in place and I was satisfied with the results, I published the pages to my website. And in the end, Elementor turned out to be exactly what I needed to create and maintain a blog that looked really good and ranked very well. And because it comes with so many tools, widgets, and themes to play around with, the process also turned out to be quite enjoyable, which is always a plus. So once the blog took off, I was on the lookout for another business to start. And at that point, I wanted to get into e-commerce. So I researched a profitable niche and sampled a couple of products, including portable chargers, adapters, and noise canceling headphones and whatnot. After that, the next step was to create an account with Shopify and build my online shop. Now, Shopify is a platform that you can use to build and manage online shops, whether it's one online shop or several online shops alongside a bunch of physical shops. And because of its versatility and the fact that it was designed specifically for e-commerce, Shopify is one of the most popular platforms for building and managing online businesses. And that's exactly why Shopify is the platform that I use to build and manage my online shops. Now, to start, I browse through the selection of themes available which includes around 70 free options in addition to 63 paid ones. I personally ended up going with the focal theme for its sort of contemporary and modern appearance, which complements the theme and products on my website. And I then used different product management tools to create product listings uh, and categorize them into different collections, add titles, descriptions, images, and cost. And the entire process was incredibly straightforward because Shopify's platforms is actually very easy to navigate. And then I chose Shopify's payment gateway. I set the shipping rates and optimize the website. And when I finished setting everything up, which did take quite a bit of time, I was able to test how the store looked like on the mobile phone, as well as the entire checkout process and email notifications. And when I did launch my shop, there were many other features to use moving forward. Some of these include discounts, uh, gift cards, reports on sales and performance, as well as inventory management and automatic tax calculations. And because Shopify has so many features and integrations, it ends up being much easier to just build that website with this platform 
platform instead of starting from scratch with WordPress or having to hire a web developer, for example. Now, although Elementor and Shopify each serve different purposes, there are still a few similarities between the two. The first thing that I notice is that both are designed in a way that beginners and advanced users can benefit from. For example, Elementor and Shopify don't require any coding knowledge because they essentially include a variety of templates while still offering the option to incorporate code for further customization, let's say. I also notice that they both have responsive designs which adapt to different screen sizes, making the websites easily compatible with a bunch of devices. And then Elementor and Shopify both have communities and offer customer support through forums, tutorials, and educational guides, in addition to 24-7 live chat support. Now, when it comes to differences, it really boils down to the main purpose of each one. Elementor is better when it comes to design and aesthetics of a website, making it a great option for blogs, portfolios, and businesses focused on building a lifestyle brand, while Shopify is centered mostly around building e-commerce businesses. And I'd say it's an excellent choice for for people looking to establish an online store and manage it effectively. And while there are options to do all these on both platforms, you wouldn't really be getting the best features that each has to offer by doing so. Now, as far as cost, both Elementor and Shopify come with different plans to choose from, and they also offer free trials. But let's start with Elementor. It costs anywhere between $10 and $50, depending on how many websites you're looking to build and the amount of monthly visitors expected. For just one basic website, it costs around $10 per month. For a business, this website that comes with more storage and monthly visitors that costs $20 per month. And if you're looking to build three websites, it costs around $23 per month. And then for 10 websites, it costs about $50 per month. So if you decide that Elementor is the right option for you, you can use the link below for a little bit of a discount. And as for Shopify, the basic plan costs about $29 a month and it comes with two staff accounts and basic reports. So a staff account is needed for anyone working within the company to be able to access the platform's features. And there are also different levels of access that can be set for each person. And then you have the Shopify plan, which comes in at $79 per month. And this is a great option for small businesses, and it's the plan that most people go with. It includes five staff accounts plus detailed reports on sales and customers. And then finally, you have the advanced option, which comes in at about $300 a month for 15 staff accounts and a custom report builder. And there's also the Shopify Plus plan, which includes features specifically for high volume businesses, and it costs about $2,000 a month. Now, if you do decide to try out Shopify, you will be able to get any of these plans for just a dollar a month for your first three months months if you click the link in the description down below and even if the deal gets updated the link will also be updated as well now there are a few downsides to consider for both elementor and shopify so because there's so much room for customization with elementor that could cause the website to take a while to load especially if you overload it with media now this happens especially when implementing complex designs with too many elements or animations and that in turn affects seo ranking and it can potentially potentially drive traffic away from your website. And because that's such an important factor, the simplest way to solve this would be to either use smaller images and fewer animations or you could compress the file so that it doesn't negatively impact the loading speed. On the same note, I would highly recommend testing your website's performance regularly. You can use tools like Google PageSpeed Insights or GT Metrics to identify areas that might need improvement. Another thing to mention here would be that in the future, if you decide to transfer a website from Elementor to a different website builder or content management system, that could pose some challenges. And this is because Elementor has a unique system for organizing and displaying content, which might not be necessarily compatible with the platform you want to switch to. And as a result, you may need to reformat and manually adjust the designs, which can be time consuming. And when it comes to Shopify, the functionality is great, but the customization options can be slightly limited. I found this to be the case mostly for the checkout page because while I was able to switch fonts and colors to match my brand, I wasn't really able to make any significant changes in the layout or any custom fields. And while this isn't necessarily a big deal, there's still ways around it, such as using third party apps to customize further or upgrading to the Shopify Plus plan. And finally, some people might not really like the fact that Shopify has transaction fees on top of processing fees, even though it's a pretty common industry practice. And while these charges are relatively low, it's still something to consider, especially if you have a small business. And there are always ways to mitigate this by either using Shopify's own payment gateway or to go with a plan that just costs more. So as you can see, both Elementor and Shopify are not entirely perfect. Now, having said all that, would I still recommend them? 
Well, absolutely. Besides the few downsides mentioned, Elementor is still incredibly customizable and is a great way to build websites. Because with the drag and drop interface, I was able to really customize the design until it was just right. And Shopify is still an extremely useful platform with many features that help you easily manage your inventory and e-commerce stores. For me, I find Shopify's inventory management tools to be irreplaceable, especially for larger businesses, because it basically prevents products from overselling and sends automatic updates when stock levels are low. And to decide which one is best for you specifically, the main thing to consider is your business model and the nature of your products or services. Although Elementor and Shopify both support many kinds of businesses, the key is to go for the one that specializes in the kind of business you're looking to build. So Elementor is best for content-based models, service-based models, and personal branding. And then Shopify, on the other hand, is tailored more for e-commerce, uh, retail, wholesale, and even print-on-demand and dropshipping models. Either way, I highly recommend taking advantage of the free trials. And if you decide to go ahead with either Elementor or Shopify, you can use the links below to save a little bit more money. To this day, I actually use Elementor for creating new blog posts and Shopify for managing e-commerce businesses because both of them honestly just save me so much time in the long term, which is why I say it's well worth the cost. Besides that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe to stay up to date with future videos and also support the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.